Hello everyone, this is Gabe Weaver. I'm the Senior Product Manager for the Project Management Group within the Plan Stage. Today I'm going to be demoing uh, our new feature in the Plan Stage, which is iterations. Uh, we are shipping our MVC in the next release and I wanted to give you a quick highlight. Iterations are at the group level, uh, which allows uh, you to orchestrate a synchronized cadence across all subgroups and projects in terms of uh, the iteration time box. The goal for iterations uh, is to allow you to uh, associate issue to more than one time box, uh, whether that your milestone is a program increment or a, or a longer term goal, your iteration is meant to be a shorter term sprint or um, multi-week time box that uh, eventually will allow you to better understand your team's velocity over time. So iterations are at the group level to access them. You hop over into the iterations list from the uh, sidebar. Uh, inside of the iterations list, you're able to create a new iteration. You'll, if you're familiar with milestones, you'll be fairly familiar with this. The only caveat is you cannot have more than one active iteration at a time per group. Uh, so if you try to do that, it will give you an error when scheduling. Um, this is intended to make it so that it is easier to have uh, uh, like size time boxes over time. So when we do get to calculate velocity on the road, uh, it will be consistent over time. So we're gonna start our iteration on July 27th. We're gonna end it on August 1st. Let's go ahead. Um, is iterations maiden voyage. You can add a description uh, just like you can in the other place where you have the markdown editor. Uh, and our basic iteration overview has a percent complete uh, open count, close count, and completed count. Uh, and right now we have no iterations, but this is signaled to be upcoming. If you want to edit your iteration title anytime, you can pop back over into this view uh, and um, edit the title or time periods. Uh, so now that we have an iteration created, we can hop over to an issue. Um, and here I have an issue that I had created previously that was associated to a different iteration. I want to go in here and add this to the new one that I created. And this will save it and associate it to the uh, to iteration two. Uh, so if I refresh this page now, you'll see this issue show up. Uh, you'll see the status is in progress because I'm assigned to it already. Um, if I'm no, there is no assignee, then uh, the the uh, the status will be up um, open. And uh, that's it for the MVC. Um, just a quick overview of the longer term roadmap where we're going. Uh, you can kind of see here's a, a design view uh, where we're going to be adding our burn down and burn up charts as well as the ability to uh, filter by weight, count, and time across these charts and also, as well as show those, um, those attributes on the issue list itself. Um, we're also going to be showing you the uh, iteration report in downstream subgroups and projects scoped to that specific project. So right now one of the problems in GitLab is you can't have the, uh, the milestone report view in a subgroup if that subgroup has milestone or issues associated to that uh, parent group's milestone. So we wanna cascade the report down so it's easier for teams to uh, see the report view for a given iteration within uh, their uh, project or subgroup. And then we're also gonna be extending the issues uh, area down below with the group by feature that lets you group by label, assignee, uh, Epic and maybe even projects or groups. Um, we're still exploring that a little bit, but this will allow you to get a better sense of uh, the progress for, for different um, kind of pivots of your iteration. Um, and pretty excited about that. And those things will be coming in the future as well. Uh, there is a link to this uh, Epic as well as an issue for feedback on the iterations in VC. Would love to hear from you and uh, understand where you'd like to see us go next. Uh, thanks.